Hi everybody, it's Patty, Rockstar Mom. <laughs> Let me start all over. Hi everybody, it's Patty, Rockstar Mom. Hi everybody, it's Patty, Rockstar Mom. Oh, jeez. Hi everybody, it's Patty. Hi everybody, it's Patty, Rockstar Mom, and welcome to my channel. Thank you so much for clicking on this video today. I think it's going to be a fun one. I have a new bag that we're going to talk about, and we're going to talk about my old bag and what's in it. I'm also going to tell you about the most wonderful gadget, I'll call it, that I have purchased in a long, long, long time time and as my daughter told me she's the one who told me about it you know mom how can anything so ugly be so functional for fifteen dollars wait until you see it and then i'm going to show you the room i'm in and i think you're going to get a kick out of it my granddaughter uh, she's five and a half years old, and she is a princess girl, which we never thought she would be, but she loves princess, all things princess. She's coming to visit me, or me and Jim, for uh, a little over a week. She's coming with her dad. She shares a bedroom at home with her three-year-old brother. They're still in those little youth beds, and uh, there's a bedroom there for her when her parents feel that she's ready. But I decided that I was going to take one of our bedrooms here and make her a princess room for the time she's here. So at the very end of this video, I'm going to show you the little princess room that I put together for her and see what you think about it. All right, all right, all right. Let's start off with just talking for a second about bags. If you've watched me for any length of time at all, you know that I am not a bag person, a designer bag person. Let me clarify that. I am not a designer bag person. Now, I have a couple, but they were gifts, and I will tell you that I rarely carry them. Rarely. And I've talked about them before, and many of you said, why don't you just sell them? I don't want to sell them. And the reason is, I now have three granddaughters, and I have three grandsons. And, and you know, there's a really good chance at some point, one of those six grandchildren may want them. And I think uh, the longer I can hang on to them, and they're in excellent condition, the more valuable they may be when they, whoever's going to get them gets them. So that's why I'm hanging on to those. I rarely carry them. I've just never been attracted to designer bags. I don't mind a good fake, though, but I, I, I'm not into designer bags. And again, those of you who have been watching me for any length of time know that when it comes to handbags, purses, I like to find a bag that I absolutely love. And I will carry that bag until it's worn out. I mean worn out before I buy another one to carry every single day. Now, I may buy another bag, and some of you a few months ago probably rode with me in the car when I went to TJ Maxx, and I bought a new bag. And it was just something that I could, just for a little change. And it, I, I liked it. I liked it a lot. I liked everything about it. But it, it wasn't that bag that I knew I could carry and would carry every single day. So let me show you the bag that I've been carrying now for probably, I have it over here, for probably either two or three years. I believe it's three years. And I'll tell you how it came about. First of all, I'll show you the bag. And this is it. It's a canvas bag. It has leather straps, but it's canvas. It has fringe all around. It has the design stamped on here. 
plain on the back, has a pocket here, no pocket here, which I wish it did have a pocket there, but I can live with that. The inside is a striped fabric, and I'll show you the pockets in a minute. It has a zipper. When I tell you that I have carried this bag almost every single day since I got it, I have. I love this bag. I get compliments on it all the time. I just recently went to see my grandbabies and are the, the twins in Arkansas. And I just wanted a, a bag that I could throw in uh, my carry-on bag. And this is what I took. And I, I had a doctor's appointment a couple of days ago. My, my finally found a doctor here just for a checkup. When I went in to sign in into the office, the, the young lady behind the desk, I, you know, I set this up on the counter and she said, I love your bag. I love your bag. I said, thank you. I, that's what I get all the time. It is just a perfect size. The only complaint I have is that you can put way too much in it and it gets heavy. But, but the bag itself weighs nothing. It's just fabric with these handles. So, let me tell you where I got this bag. Two or three years ago, and again, I think it was three, uh, I purchased this bag off of uh, Lisa Robertson's website. And many of you know Lisa from QVC. She was a longtime show host there. She was a former Miss Tennessee, I think, and, and she actually retired from QVC. I believe she re actually retired. She didn't just resign. But she did different things after she retired, and then she decided to start her own line, her own online store. And she presented her products live on Facebook, and she still does. And you can follow her on Facebook if you like her and liked her taste. I, I always liked her taste. We had very, had, have very similar taste. So I, I had, when I first got that bag, it was because I saw her present it, and it came in a couple of other colors. And when I went online, I really wanted to get the blue denim one, and they were had sold out. And this was the only one that was available, so that I bought it, and I have loved it. I have not regretted it at all because it's such a neutral color. But I was on, oh gosh, Amazon just a week or so ago, and you're not going to believe it but the bag showed up on Amazon. Oops. Now, I paid $50. If I remember correctly, I paid $50 for that bag. And uh, this one was like, tw I want to say $29 or $30. It is virtually the identical bag, except it's in the blue denim. And they had this in other colors. I, I think they had it in a dark green, like an army Type green. They had it in the canvas that I have. They had it in red, and I'm going to order the red before they sell out of them, and this blue. And it's the very, I think it's a little bit different design here, but similar, French, plain on the back, has the pocket on the side, no pocket on this side, has the fringe everywhere except along here. This other bag has the fringe or the frayed edge on the top too. Has the zipper, and look at the inside, the very same. It has the same two pockets here. It has the zippered pocket here, whoa, which is, which is just like that one. I don't think this is a dupe of that one. I think that when Lisa saw it and decided to, to sell it, she probably bought it from the same place that this one came from. That's what I suspect. Or maybe it's someone who is just making, maybe there's a lot of people making the similar bags. But this is called Creative Leather Art. Oh, I have to read you the, the tag on this verbatim. Hello dear, thank you for buying. 
Your order is too important for us, and your each order creates value for us. It gives us immense happiness to serve you. Hope you like this item, and if you don't, please let us know first. May we, maybe we solve this in a better way. So have a great day. And I thought, you know what, that's pretty nice. That's pretty nice. They want a good review, and trust me, they're going to get a good review because I love this bag. So I'm going to, and I, did I tell you, this bag was either $29 or $30. And I will put a link to this bag below in the show more in case you want to go over to Amazon and look at it. You may want one of the other colors, but I'm telling you, this is just, it weighs nothing. It weighs nothing uh, until you put something in it. So it's just real easy to carry. I just love this blue. I love the blue. And what's funny is this bag looks bigger than this bag, but in actuality, they're the very same measurements. It's just that this one has a lot of stuff in it. So what we're gonna do is I am going to change bags. I'm gonna show you what's in this bag. My phone was ringing, or pinging, and I FaceTime almost every single morning with the twins. They're 15, almost 16 months old. That's hard to believe. But my daughter sends pictures all the time, and oh, this is funny. This is really funny. I will, i tell you what I'll do is I'll show you these. They are just too cute. That's the, the little boy. Has a, he has a little lazy eye, and he's wearing a patch over one eye for an hour a day for, I think, a month or so. <laughs> the little girl, they are hilarious. And you know what? If I have time in this video, I'm going to watch the time, I will tell you, you will not believe what happened when I was visiting there last week. You absolutely will not believe it. Mm -mm -mm. Okay. So, uh, and if I have time to tell you that story, I will. It is a crazy, crazy story of the whole week, which I'm sure you've had weeks like that. I haven't had very many like that. It was something. Okay, so let's see what's in this bag, and we're going to put it in the blue bag, the new blue bag. All right. So the first thing I'm going to pull out, oh, I have some new sunglasses, and these are, if, for those of you who watch Joan Boyce on HSN, she is now on JTV, Jewelry Television, and she's known for her sunglasses, and these are new glasses, new sunglasses. What do you think? rhinestones and they come in different colors or they did I haven't had these very long so hopefully they're still available I will try to find a link for them uh, if they're still available or you can go on jtv.com and see she has some other things there and she's she's starting off with some fashion items and I think she's doing a little bit of jewelry she mainly did jewelry I think when she was on HSN so a fun shiny case so we'll put the sunglasses in I have a couple of packs of tissue that as you can see are, there's a few left I have I'll just hold this up a pack of wet ones whoops I have a little this is my little daily calendar that I keep things in. That's just a receipt from the airport, I think. I'll throw that away. I have a mask that I used yesterday for, I, Jim and I went out to lunch, so it's virtually clean. Okay, I will wear it one more time. Then I have a little bag of mask. I have a tube of hand lotion and 
I bought several of these from Sally's, oh gosh, probably four or five years ago when they were on sale for a quarter, I think. This is their Beyond Belief Fresh Snow Kisses. I just like the fragrance, and I'm just about out of these. So I have that. I have a tape measure, because you never know when you may need a tape measure. I have my key fob with my door key. I have a little cosmetic bag. I've had this for a hundred years. And this has just, a, who remembers these mirrors from Sephora that open like a compact? I have, this has a lip gloss in it, another lip gloss, a Dior lip gloss. It has um, a Rimmel lipstick in 084. I, I never use this stuff nail glue, a lip pencil, a little glass nail file, a couple of band-aids. That's that. Okay, speaking of nail files, a couple. This was from the trip. It's my hair comb. That's not going back in my purse. I have a pen, mechanical pencil. I have, oh, okay. This I've shown before, and these are no longer available. I, I don't know where you can get them. I'll look on Amazon and see if I can find these. I love this. I use this all the time, all the time. And I have probably three or four more of them that are unused, but you just don't wear them out. But it's flatware that you can carry with you. I, I drink, as you know, I drink out of glass straws. So I stick my glass straw in there. It didn't come in there. I think chopsticks came in here. But it's the bamboo knife, spoon, and fork. So if you're out and you don't want to use plastic ware, wherever you're eating out, you've got this. Or if you're not comfortable that where you're eating is the silverware is clean. My daughter sold these on her website and it has a one of these carb carbingers, or I think that's what they're called, uh, where you can clip it onto your backpack or to anything. But it's called to go wear, is what it's called. And I use this all the time. I've given those as so many gifts over the years. I just, oh, okay, let's see. Oh yeah, in the pocket. I've shown you this before. This is a vintage cigarette case that never smoked a cigarette in my life, but this is where I carry my driver's license, my insurance card, a couple of credit cards, Visa. I carry a check just in case. Oh, I'm filming. I'm filming. Can I call you back? Better say hi to those babies. Hi, guys. Hi, guys. Hi. What are y'all doing? Okay, I'll call you back. Okay, bye. Bye. But anyway, I love this. I bought it at an antique store. I think I paid $25 for it. It's monogrammed. The initials are CL. Of course, those are not my initials. But this is just perfect. I mean, this will slide in my back jeans pocket or my front jeans pocket if I have on jeans or anything with a pocket if I'm out and about and I don't have to carry my big purse. But it's just super, th it's a cigarette case. And if you look, you can find them. They're for sure on, I know I saw some on Etsy a, f a couple of years ago. I was looking for one to buy for a gift for someone. So I love this, love it. So I've got that. Oh, oh. I've got some bills, a few of my cards. There's some change, oh, okay, ooh. TikToks, and then this, 
that I have carried down for a good little while. Let's see what this card is. Oh, it's a hairstylist card I picked up somewhere. But let me show you what this is. When you look at it, I bought this at the Dollar Tree. I don't know if they're still available. I've had it for years. But it's called, uh, it's the Frozen. And it on the back, it has, it's cotton buds. It had 30 cotton swabs in it, it says. But what I bought it for is just to carry like ibuprofen and a toothpick and just some a couple of band-aids and they just sort of fit in there and I close it and it snaps but I put a big rubber band around it just to be on the safe side and that's what I carry for like ibuprofen mainly in there and that's it it's empty so we'll put that down and there it is. With everything in it, it's just that this has some stabilizer in it and that the old one looked like this one when I first got it too. It wasn't just limp. Uh, this obviously has some fabric stabilizer in it to keep it stiff. But as I use it, as I carry it, it will definitely, definitely get very soft and out of shape just like that other one. I'll get some scissors, cut the tag off, and I am ready to go with my new bag. And by the way, I carry my, obviously I carry my phone. Oh, I know something else. Wait. I dropped it. Uh, something else that I carry in the side pocket here, whoops, is Jim and I have, we found this right after we got married, and we've been married, I think, either 11 or 12 years. We ordered off of Amazon, so it's the hand sanitizer that we prefer and that we use all the time. It is by Clorox, and it is bleach-free hand sanitizer. It looks like water. It's thin like water. It will not... Um, it will not bleach out or spot anything that it gets on your clothes. Uh, says it right on the front. Um, it, it's bleach free, although it's made by Clorox. And by the way, this is what uh, most kitchens, most restaurant kitchens have this in huge containers in their kitchen. It's how they sanitize their hands. It says it kills greater than 99.999% of germs on contact. And then it says of FDA organisms in the TFM for topical antimicrobial drug products. Contains hand moisturizer. It's alcohol based. And when we first bought it, we bought like a dozen of these little bottles. And we have it in our car, uh, in our cars. I always have it in my purse. And this, is, this goes everywhere we go. We have this. Since then, I have bought it in the restaurant size. I buy it off of Amazon. I, I had just ordered a big container of it to refill these bottles before COVID, before the pandemic. And I mean, when the pandemic started, you couldn't buy it. You could not buy it. This also kills the norovirus, which are, I believe your little gel hand sanitizers that most people use do not kill the norovirus, but this does. That was the reason we started using it. So it's Clorox from Clorox Commercial Solutions. Love this. So it's going in my side pocket, so it's always handy. And then my phone goes in the side pocket so it's handy and that's my bag I love it I love it I love it I'll let you know when I get the red one but I love it I just love this bag I told you about the product and I my daughter had told me about this a few months ago now I've again many of you know I have been meditating most of my adult life and I meditate every single 
day. And I've had people say, oh, I can't meditate. I just can't, I can't keep my mind clear. I can't, can't be, well, you don't have to. That's just it. There are so many different ways to meditate. It's just about getting still. That's really all it's about. Oh, you can sit on a mountaintop and cross your legs and levitate and do all of that. You don't have to. It's just being able to quiet down. Even if your mind is everywhere, and often mine is, it's, be, it's just sitting there, and sometimes it's just a few seconds or a few minutes of just being calm. That's all it is. So, but I love to do guided meditations. I love to do them. I love to listen to soft music in the bed at night. Now, back when I was single, it, there, it was no problem. I could just turn my phone on. And I, it was only me in that bed. But Jim doesn't meditate. If he does, we don't talk about it. I'm sure he does at times in his own way too, but but my daughter meditates and she had told me about this device and it sounded interesting because let me tell you, now being married, I like to meditate when I go to bed at night and Jim and I normally go to bed at the same time and I will grab my earbuds or my earphones and they stick in my ear, they attach to my phone, or they work by the uh, buds, uh, the iPods, is that what they're called, work uh, with Bluetooth, but they stick out of my ears. And especially if I'm listening to music, to soft music, to really relax me. If I roll over, I, well, I can feel them, but if I roll over on my side, I can feel them in my ear the pressure of the pillow pushing against that little earbud digs into my ear, wh whichever side I'm on. I'm never comfortable wearing those. And so, and sometimes I wake up in the middle of the night and it's like I'm just awake. Do you ever do that? I bet you do. And many times I'll reach over on my nightstand and I'll get my earbuds or my iPods and I will stick them in my ear and you know get under the cover so the light from turning my phone on doesn't wake Jim and I will find some soft music and put it on and listen to it and I normally go back to sleep just listening to that soft music. So my daughter told me about this because she's a big meditator also. And, and as I said, she said, Mom, how can something so ugly be so wonderful for $15? So I thought, okay, I've got to check it out. And this is what it is. It's a headband. Look at it. Now, first of all, on each side, let me find them. That's the inside. You can feel it. It's a disc about the size of a quarter. And those are what goes over your ears. Those are the actual earbuds, I guess, or speakers. This is made by Full X, F U L E X T, I suppose. And so I can, all right, here we go. There's an upside and a downside. And in the dark, in the middle of the night, you can feel of this, and one side is straight, that's the top. This side is curved, as you can see, and this is what goes underneath. It's a headband, and it's loose. It's not, it's not tight. I've got a big old clip on the back of my head holding my hair up, but I pull this down over my ears, and these little discs right here fit, and they're adjustable in there. They're in a pocket, so you can manipulate them to get them over your ears. And even if they're not over your ears, you can still hear. But what's so neat about it is they don't dig into your ears or my ears. 
and I can lay on it and it doesn't bother me at all. But in the dark, you, and remember this is Bluetooth, so if you have a smartphone, you can use these. Uh, but there's the center button right here, and you can feel it, it's raised. You press it, it said power on, and then in a second, it said just said connected. So I know I'm connected to my Bluetooth, and all I have to do is go to my app, wherever I want to listen to my music, and there's a little volume up, volume down, switch right there, and that's all there is. And you can, you can take these, and inside there is a cord that you, and it comes with an adapter that you can, can you see it? You can charge it when it, I've, I've had these, well, I've been home almost a week from my trip, and I ordered them and had them sent here while I was gone, so they were here waiting for me when I got back, or this was. And I've used it every night, and I did charge it yesterday. I didn't know. It doesn't say on the instructions how long the charge should last. I guess it depends on how much you use it, how much you listen to it. But uh, I went ahead and charged it yesterday. And I am loving this. When it came in, I showed it to Jim, and I said, you know, I told him what Jennifer said. And he said, listen, if it helps you, you wear it. So I love this. I think it came in. A couple of other colors too, but uh, I got the blue one. Fifteen dollars worth every single penny of it. I, I mean, I could see when I walk in the mornings. I walk with my usually my iPods uh, through Bluetooth to listen to music when I'm walking. I could easily wear this, especially in the winter time, to keep my ears warm. I usually wear a hat or something that comes down over my ears to keep my ears warm when it's cold. So I could definitely walk in this. And if you're a runner, you could run in this. I'm loving this. For the money, it can't be beat. I will link this below if you want to check it out. I told you I was going to show you this cute little room. Now, let me tell you, as I said, she's five and a half. She's really into princess. I wanted to do something for her that was special because this is the first time that she's stayed with us for any length of time uh, since she was a little bitty. I think she was two and a half maybe, uh, barely three. And so I wanted this to be spe really special for her because she's really been looking forward to us shopping and I have all kinds of things planned for us to do while she's here. We're going to go get manicures and I've bought her a few little things. I've asked her mom and dad a couple of little things that she might like to have so that uh, when she gets here it'll be some, you know, she'll have some toys to play with. But we're going to go out and we're going to shop for some things and we've already done the shopping for her brother and had things sent to him so that uh, while She's here. He's getting some things, too, there from us. So I'm going to show you the little bedroom, and as I film it, I will walk you through and tell you what I've done. Everything that I've done is very temporary, and one thing I have to make sure of is that she understands that this room is only going to be her room when she's here by herself or with her dad or her mom, whoever is here with her, that when her brother is here, we can't do this. This is special just for her when she's here because I can duplicate it pretty much completely. I didn't go overboard. I did it very inexpensively. Most of it is stuff I already had. So I'll just pack it up and put it away uh, so that when we need this room for guest or other family members or maybe her brother when her brother comes if he's able to come and stay by himself then i will fix it up for him too whatever his interest is at the time i will make sure that it's appropriate for him but uh, this is only for her when she's here and stay can stay in this room by herself so i think she'll be just fine with that so here it is Let's just go in. 
and we'll start with the bed and I'll tell you what I did. This, if y'all remember, those of you who have seen anything from our condo over in uh, Pensacola, or not Pensacola, Panama City Beach, you know that we had this little bed. It's your little full-size bed. It had different bedding on it. But I wanted this to be, it was blue and sort of like a seersucker. And I wanted this to be uh, princessy, so I had this white comforter. Uh, and I have had this throw I've used for a lot of things. And I just tied pink bows on two corners. And then I had those two pink satin silky pillowcases because I sleep on those and uh, I picked up that pillow at Home Goods, the blue and pink. And then the little, I wanted to do a canopy. And so what I did, I started thinking about it and I, I really didn't want to invest too much in this because it's only going to be here when she's, as long as she wants it when she's here by herself, as I said in the video. So what I did is I went on Amazon and this was a, a four poster bed canopy. It was just the tool in pink. And I thought it was real inexpensive. I wanna say it was it was for a twin bed and it may have been like ten dollars or twelve dollars at the most. So I ordered that and I just you know when I got it it was huge just a lot of tool and I somehow managed to gather it all up and there was a hook on that wall that where a picture had been painted. And so I just uh, poofed it up there and tied a bow around it and hooked it over the uh, that hook and draped it down behind the bed. And then I strung the little fairy lights and they work with a remote control. So I think I need to do some adjusting here. I'll work that out. But, you know, she's five, five and a half. <laughs> the little tables and lamps, that's a piece of a painting that I had done. And that's just a little stool. This band's a little bit high, so she may need a little help. Need something to step on. And and sort of that's the closet, so just mirrored doors. The outside, basket of hydra dried hydrangeas. This mirror, and I tell you, this wreath looks beigey, but it's really pretty pink. I picked that up a long time ago, I think it. TJ Maxx, put the bow on it. And then I had this old table in here and I decided just to, these are little things that I had bought her just so that she would have stuff when she got here, some jewelry. And that's a mirror and just a sand castle. We'll be going to the beach. It's a bucket shaped like a sand castle. So we're to draw hopscotch and play on in the driveway with chalk. Bubbles. Uh, this is just hair bows and unicorn stuff and colored hair. That was, even though it says two plus, she, her mom says she's been asking for that. So I picked that up. And this is a book of stickers. This is, this is really interesting. Can you see this? There are all these pictures, and I think she's old enough to do this. You've got all the different characters, and then all of these, so you match the number, like you see 140 or 158 there. You go to whatever the picture is. Let's find it. I like that. And you would find 158, and that's where you put that sticker. I can't remember where I bought this, but let me show you. There is, I bought this a couple of months ago when I knew she was coming. And again, I don't, oh there, Eric Moore, if that helps you. 
Kate's Castle, oops, Castle Point Books. But this is really neat. An underworld, world of magic. <clears throat> so it's mermaids. And then these are bubble fans. I went ahead and picked up one for her brother and one for her. So all of this is is for her, for so that she'll have to play with as soon as as soon as she gets here before we have a chance to go shopping. I think she'll like it. I hope she does. Luggage rack for her to put her bag on. And I may do some adding to it. But right now, this is what it is and I think she'll like it. So, oh, and by the way, after I show you this room, I am going to tell you the story, what happened in Arkansas last week. And, if, if just in case you don't want to stay and hear that story, I want to go ahead and thank you for watching. I appreciate you more than you'll ever know. Don't forget to go out and be kind. Just be kind. Be kind to yourself first so that you can be kind to others. I love you, and I'll see you. Bye-bye.